Voyeur, released in 1993 by Philips for the CDI. Voyeur is your typical FMV game, that infamously bad genre of gaming that was so prevalent in the early 90s. This one, however, had an interesting concept, and one that lends itself well to the technology and trends of the time. In Voyeur, you're a private investigator hired to bring down Reed Hawk, CEO of Hawk Industries. He's gathered his family together in preparation to announce his candidacy for President of the United States. Your job is to find some evidence to incriminate him before that happens. You move the cursor around his windows in order to find video and audio clips, which are then recorded as evidence. You can also look in unoccupied rooms for evidence, giving you a bit of background on the story, but it's just a waste of time if you're playing to win. It plays a lot like your average FMV game with one important difference. It's more than a little adult. Despite what some people will tell you, there is no nudity in this game, but it does have strong sexual content, foul language, non-explicit sex, and of course, at least four murders. The game contains a programmable lockout system in order to keep your kids out. Of course, your kids are smarter than you think, so they'll just delete your save file and then use the default code listed in the manual. The game is pre-ESRB, so there's no rating on the disc, except that it describes itself as an adult political thriller. Even by today's standards, this would be an M-rated game. For one thing, everybody's having sex with everyone else. In this game, you'll find bondage, incest, talk of molestation of a minor, and of course, implied lesbianism. The video, of course, never goes any farther on this than sexy elbow touching. The game also uses phone calls to periodically remind you of what a terrible person you are for playing the game. Your appetite for hidden secrets? Aren't you afraid of what you might find out? <laughs> no, not about someone else about yourself. In 1993, the Sega CD's Night Trap was being pulled off the shelves, following a joint Senate Judiciary and Government Affairs Committee hearing on video game violence. No one batted an eyelash about the content in this game, they were all too busy making an example out of the cheesy Night Trap. Generally, the plot feels as if they were forcing in as much objectionable material as possible, which makes sense considering the time it was released. It's like they were giving the government the finger. The resulting plot just feels ridiculous. In fact, the only way to make it feel more ridiculous would be to do this. Voyeur is filmed in front of a live studio audience. liked my egg scrambled. <laughs> I never let him get to me. What? Guys, f*** them. <laughs> this is about Zach, right? God, it shows that bad, huh? Mm -hmm. I wish I could be more like you, Chloe. Oh, yeah, right. My life's a regular fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not boring. <laughs> you know what? Screw this. Let's go for a ride. I'm like Harley. What about Zach's breath? Let him make his own damn eggs. Come on. Come on. I'll be honest though, despite the ridiculousness, B-movie acting, and inherent restrictions of the FMV genre, I actually enjoyed my first few playthroughs. The game can be played in three ways. You can play the voyeur and just watch without interfering, you can try to prevent a murder by sending the tape to the family member who's in danger, or you can stop Reed's presidential bid by sending a tape of the murder to the police. Neither of the positive outcomes are terribly satisfying though, as all you get is a small video and some newspaper articles to show you you've succeeded. In addition, sending an incomplete or incorrect tape to a family member results in the silliest You Got Killed video ever. <laughs> you came close, huh? Yeah, very close. Compliments of Mr. Hawk. That's it? No shaky cam, no falling over, no blood, no bullet hole? What, did she miss? Of course, there's one glaring issue that has to be addressed. The game is played over the course of about 45 minutes and it's timed. Several things are happening at once, so you'll need to play through the game a few times to see each family member's story. The game only randomizes one thing, which family member is going to be killed. This changes the last five minutes or so of the game, and that's it. 
So if you want to save or kill all of the family members to see their videos, you'll be seeing the same 40 minutes of video over and over and over again. And trust me, you won't want to do it. To be honest, I may never play this game again. Voyeur currently costs about $11, so it's hard not to recommend it. With that in mind, I'd put Voyeur at a 3 out of 5. You're likely to have a good time on your first couple of playthroughs, so as long as you stop when you're satisfied, this might be a great game for you. Just don't play it long enough to get footage for a review. I never would have thought Reed Hawk was capable of this. But this tape nails him. We'll take it from here.